Hey everyone, so um, I just wanted to share something really quick with you guys. Um, this is not a haul or really a tutorial. I just wanted to share something really special that my mom did for me. And um, it just really, really meant a lot to me that she's very um, interested, persistent, and she backs my career. So, you know, that's really great in itself. But um, what she did is she surprised me with a few gifts and, you know, it's it's not much, but it really, really means a lot. So I'll just get straight to it. Um, being that if you're in the field of makeup artistry or any type of profession, you want to have a business card. Um, it's very detrimental to your career because you can network yourself and um, you can just basically give your card to anyone and word of mouth travels a long way so what she did was she got me a little gift from things remembered and she got me a business card holder which was really really sweet and what she did was she got my name engraved it's my nickname that my friends call me Ferocia Katora and um also if anyone who doesn't know Ferocia Katora is like my alter ego when I get dressed up and stuff and I just feel very fierce and fabulous I become Ferocia and she's just she's an amazing character if you know Beyonce Sasha Fierce she's no different than anything it's just something I like to play with because it gives me a chance to really be someone else and just you know just have fun and it, it is what it is, but yeah, that's my nickname for Rosha Couture. So she did get me a nice business card holder. And you guys, this is something that you want to get because it just makes you seem a whole lot more professional when you have that. But what is a business card holder without business cards? So yeah, she got me business cards made. I had used the excuse for so long because I had other business cards but my number had changed and you don't want to give somebody a business card with a whole bunch of writing or where you scratch something out it's just best to go ahead and get you some new ones because it just it does look a whole lot more professional and one thing that I did or one thing that I was told which was very important people keep business cards that are attractive if you have just this plain Jane business cards, people are going to throw it out because it's just like, what is this? It's just clutter in my purse, in my wallet. But, um, yeah, I am going to I just blot out my information a little bit. But, yeah, these are my business cards. And, um, you know, it has my picture on it. It has my name, professional makeup artistry, my name, I mean, excuse me, my telephone number and email address I also took the time to write um, that I am a blogger on YouTube and I left my YouTube address so if anybody wants to see my tutorials they can go straight to my page and it also it's gonna help me gain more subscribers it's gonna help me just um, network myself via web it's you know, it's just very important that you add as much detail about yourself to your business cards as you can. So, yeah, she got me some business cards, and gosh, I'm just very, very thankful for that. And she also got me an appointment book. So, I can just keep track of any appointments that I have so I don't have any, you know, dates and times that's going to overlap each other, just so I know when you know I'm available and this is very very helpful to have because my mother what she does is she's a director of cosmetology at you know a college and she stays so busy they always use appointment books when they're writing down their clientele and just it's very it's something that you know anybody that's serious about being in the makeup artistry field should have this is very very detrimental to your career so I just wanted to share that with you guys um, you know if you're thinking about becoming a professional makeup artist get you some business cards 
that, you know, appeal not only to yourself, but you think would appeal to anybody else who would want to call you and book you for something. And if they're going to book you for something, have something to write your appointments in, as well as have a case to put your business cards in. So it's really, really pretty when you whip it out and say, you know, here's my business card. So, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and I will definitely be seeing you in my next tutorial. So, thank you, and thank you, Mommy, for everything that you did. I appreciate it. Later.